plastic colander. Did you catch that? <laughs> Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to my channel. I know that sounds so goofy, but I guess we have to do it. Um, today we're out here shooting in Edmonds with this beautiful blue wall here today. To start, we'll see where we end up. Um, I am gonna go through a bunch of photography hacks that I found on TikTok, Instagram, and the Google. These hacks included bubble wrap, a mirror, sparkly gauze, nylon tights, a colander, and a CD. Um, and I'm here with Andrea. Yes, that's two Andreas <laughs> right here. Um, Andrea and Andrea. And so she's gonna be modeling for us today. Um, she's also modeling a Lana Ray handmade bag. Um, I'll put the link in that in the description for that bag because oh, it's so pretty. Um, and of course we've got Jamie Buckley Photography behind the camera. <laughs> um, gotta give a shout out to him. So let's get started. All right, the mirror. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna use it with the lens and then I'm gonna have you hold it too. Um, oh, that's myself. Um, so let's see here. Oh, this actually looks really cool with the blue. Oh, I have no legs. I actually no, really like that. You don't that. have That's legs. <laughs> I think you said lips. Legs. And I was like, wait. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. The mirror was one of my favorite items that we used. I was able to use it in a few different ways, as you can see, and it really reflected this blue light. So I say the mirror was a win. The strainer. We're gonna use it to filter some light onto Andre's face. My favorite thing about this is that the tag is still on the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought all of these things. We are 100% returning them afterwards. <laughs> I don't know if I want my dollar back for a strainer. I actually don't own one, so. Okay, closer to your face. Nope, that makes it tinier. <laughs> okay, it's looking very colander-y. Good. Are we going to chin up a little bit? <laughs> I mean, it's cool. The plastic colander, probably not the best option. And it's tiny. I mean, like, it's not even like a hat size. So, this is a skull cap. We lived and learned today. We did. We lived and we learned. This is probably not your best option. No. You know. So what you could do is like you could be like the mirror, and then do like a check mark, and then do yes. a colander. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Plastic. Maybe, maybe not that nice because I think Family Feud has copyrighted that. So. Plastic colander. Did you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just lycra. It's the material. There is no. I don't think dollar store has brands. <laughs> these are these are day sheer reinforced toe nylons in beige. I'm really actually really glad that it says beige and not nude. Um, thank you, dollar store, for stepping up to the 21st century. Okay, so this is the pantyhose. We're gonna use the pantyhose on the lens to create a softer look, like a filtered look. So, let's try it. Jamie just posed a really good question. How do we focus? I guess we'll find out. I'll leave the like manual focus like situation available. <laughs> These are terrible nylons. Okay. Never buy nylons from the dollar store. <laughs> okay. You're gonna get sued by the dollar store for defamation. <laughs> so it doesn't focus. <laughs> <laughs> um, you definitely, but luckily she's far enough away where she's already in focus, so I'm not worried about it, but. Oh, it focused. Look at that. Okay, let's see what that looks like. <gasps> oh. That softened it a lot. Wow. Wow, indeed. That's really pretty. I actually you really love that. You wanna try some more in the light? Yeah. Looks like an Instagram filter that's already like in existence, which is kinda cool. Yeah. Is he videoing us? 
Is the guy down there? Jamie. Uh, just, just oh, Jamie. <laughs> no, I mean the guy down there. He does have a camera in his hands, yeah. And now Jamie's wow. And now I'm filming him. Really cool. <laughs> so if we He's got murdered, at us now. if we got murdered and we this find this so camera, cool. that man murdered us. Like, oh, interesting. That's like this in I'm totally using this again. Like, this one's really cool. I'm loving it. Like this is weird. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. There's gotta be a better way. I need to get one of those foot ones where you just put it over. Bubble wrap. I am going to wrap the front of my lens with the bubble wrap and tape it um, and shoot through it. It's supposed to give kind of a, I don't know what do you, like a vignette um, with some softness. So we'll see how that looks. Yeah, those are so cool. I, really like that. I love this one. Mm -hmm. That'll be awesome. This is sparkly gauze. Um, I think it's used for flowers and gift wrap, but I'm not actually sure. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with this that I did with the bubble wrap. So let's see how this one goes. Okay. We totally forgot to tell you what the verdict was about these sparkly gauze. I think it was a win in my book. You tell me what you think. Okay, we're gonna use a CD. I'm gonna attempt to do two different things. I'll probably get some like fake sun flare and then maybe try and get some rainbow images with it. So I'm gonna try a couple different things with the CD. Are you get it? <laughs> that was that was great. Ooh, I, it looks like there's a rainbow like lo like lollipop or something. <laughs> I got a rainbow. Oh Jesus! Woman. Dreams may come. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever seen that movie. <laughs> the nylon for sure was like my favorite. But let's see. I searched high and low for this nylon twine. I guess it's called, this one's called invisible. I guess that's all I need is the, the cross. Let's see if this will work. I'm just gonna hold it. Okay, so this is invisible cord. Um, I couldn't find nylon, which is what the TikTok showed. Um, so we're gonna try this. I have it taped and crisscrossed over my lens. It's supposed to give kind of like a twinkly effect, I guess, through the light. So we'll see if it works. It might work better at night. But. Oh, okay. Not what I expected. In a good way. It's like a sun flare. Oh, that's pretty though. Isn't that wild? And thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun showing you the final products of what these weird photo tricks and hacks, I guess, um, turned out. Not all of them turned out great, but 
probably because we had a bright sunny day and had various backgrounds. So I'm guessing that if you're shooting in a studio or something like that, you'll get a different outcome. Um, stay tuned for more. I will be doing a product photography hacks shoot here pretty soon, which will be interesting. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you have any questions, any tips, any photo tricks and hacks that you might think are interesting to try or that you have tried, please comment them below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give me a comment, give me a like, follow me on Instagram, follow Andrea, follow Jamie, and show the love and be kind. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye!